Hi, my name is Dave Fillingham. I am one of the technical specialists here at Havis. Um, today we're going to be going over some of the different mounting options that go on to a forklift. Um, one of the things we're going to start with is our PKG MD49 mount. Um, that's what I have here mounted right in front of me. Now, this mount is a clamp-on design, as you can see. It Clamp-on design is beneficial in a lot of different ways. Uh, first way is it works on a multitude of different forklift applications. So depending on what the size is on the forklift frame tube, it could be a square tube, rectangle, round tube, or a Toyota, which kind of uses a combination of the two. This will work in any one of those applications. Nice advantage of the clamp-on design too is you don't have to worry about drilling holes or tapping the holes to mount it or just putting holes in the forklift in general. Putting holes in the forklift makes it so that it's longer to put the do the initial install. It has permanent markings on the forklift that when the forklift is leased, as a lot of companies lease it to save some money, you have to worry about then you know paying for that cost on the back end. So it's definitely something you want to try to avoid, and it just makes things a little bit more difficult to do. We offer a couple different size bolts with these. They come standard with multiple different lengths, I believe up to four inch in length. When you're done with the installation, a simple thing to do is just kind of cut off the end of the bolt and gives you a nice flush finish. You don't have to worry about being jagged or anyone snagging on it. Nice thing with the MD409 is this larger handle here. So we have a dual knuckle articulation, as you can see. Simply turn the handle to loosen everything, and then you can move this into the optimal viewing position. So if you have an operator that's a little bit shorter, different people throughout the day use the forklift, they can easily take this and even bring it closer to them. Simple turn of the handle, tighten everything back up again, and everything is all set. So the nice thing too with the size of the handle and how much torque you can put on it, you can really make sure that this thing locks into place with very little effort being put forth. All of our mounts have at a minimum a Visa 75 hole pattern on it, which fits all have stocking stations. And some of the mounts even come with a Visa 100 hole pattern on the back of it for certain other docking applications or monitor applications you may come across. Nice thing with the Visa 75 hole pattern is all, since all, like I said, all of our docks handle it if you're using a consumer grade tablet, similar to an iPad or a Samsung tab, and you're using our DS tab line, that will also mount right up to it, so you don't have to worry about this mount being exclusive to a rugged tablet or a rugged docking station. Next thing we're gonna go over is our CMH1009. This is an overhead mount, as you can see here. This mount clamps onto the overhead safety cage of the forklifts. It is a dual plate design, has a lot of different holes in it so that it can fit into a lot of different applications depending on what the overall structure of the cage looks like. So sometimes you're gonna be able to pick up two braces, sometimes three, sometimes four. It all depends on what that forklift looks like, but we tried to make this available so it'll work in a more universal setup so you don't always have to worry about what does the forklift look like. The overhead mount design here goes on to this in a multitude of any one of these combinations of slots this can mount up to. So it doesn't have to be central here. We can shift this off to the right, we can shift this off to the left and go forward or back and still have the ability to mount up there. The easy to access handle here allows you to tilt this forward or back depending on the angle this happens to be at because not every one of these are square to the platform. Turn the handle back down to tighten it when you get in that optimal position. The MH1009 has a keyboard add-on as part of the unit. So you can loosen the knob on the side, keyboard can be flipped down, and you can enter in any data you need to throughout your day. So if you uh, need to enter any sales orders, if you need to know where something is in the warehouse, you need to follow a map, whatever, everything is right at hand. When you're done with it, you simply flip it up and it's out of the way. Another advantage of the keyboard tray is if you happen to be outside the forklift, if you get out, see something, you need to enter in information, you can simply rotate this to the side and enter in that data next to the forklift. The MH1009 utilizes a dual plate system here in the front, as you can see with the slots. So by taking out the hardware during the installation, if you're using a larger docking station, you can lower this down or you can raise it. This is also beneficial if you're doing a larger forklift assembly, where this is a lot higher up or a lot further away, you have more flexibility to set up this in the optimal viewing position and to increase the ergonomics of the device. Again, this is our C-MH-1009 overhead mount. 
Next, we're gonna go over some of our key accessories, starting with our PKG MH3002. Now this is good for a barcode scanner or a handheld computer. It is a universal design as we try and keep consistent with. Um, this is a simple adjustment on the side here. This allows us to get wider or narrower so that it can fit a multitude of different scanners. Nice thing too, is we actually have a cutout on the bottom of this. So you can take whatever you're trying to scan, put it right to the bottom. You never have to take the device out if you choose not to. This is also a dual articulating design. You simply loosen the handle and that moves everything so that you're able to put this into the optimal position. So if you want to just have it so you can walk by and grab it, or you want to have it accessible from inside the forklift, it's super easy to adjust and anyone can do it. So that is our PKG MH3002 mount. Next, we're going to swing over to some of the seat add-ons that we have for our key accessories. So if you're using a clamp-on mount over here that just handles the docking station and the tablet, and you still need to enter in data, you can use our keyboard add-on right here. Now this is our MH3001 underseat keyboard tray. This is a no-drill design. You simply loosen the seat up, slide our plate underneath it, clamp the seat back down, and that's the entirety of the install. Very simple. There's a lot of different mounting holes in the side of it so that this arm can be set up a little bit further back or further forward, depending on the size of the forklift. So this helps with the universal design and fit into the multitude of different applications. When you're done using the keyboard, you can simply flip this to the back, get it out of the way so that you're out of the operator's line of sight. Additional add-on we have here is our MH3003. Now this adds on to the underseat keyboard tray or it can be added as a fully standalone item where the keyboard arm is not part of the system. This works with the Brother RuggedJet 4200 printer. The design of this setup allows full operation of everything in the front, all the buttons are accessible, as well as allowing the paper to be changed with the device never coming out of the mount. Those are MH3003. Last setup we're gonna go over today is for larger forklift application. Larger forklifts usually have a larger frame to them, which keeps the device further away from the operator. So we came out with our MH1012 setup. It is a clamp-on setup, dual pivoting points, lockable with a handle, and a five inch extension to make sure the device is within reach and level at all times to the operator. That couples with our MH Arm 0606. This is also a clamp-on arm setup. Clamps onto the forklift gives you dual six inch extensions to bring the keyboard closer to you when you're ready to use it. Coupled with a KBM 201, you can even take the keyboard out of the device and hold it in your lap when using our Bluetooth keyboard. When not using the keyboard, you can swing the arms out of the way. They are designed to fold over each other to make sure the keyboard is out of reach and the controls are well within an accessible position for the operator. Last thing we're gonna go over is power functionality. You want to make sure that all these devices have the ability to be powered. Forklifts use regenerative braking on a lot of their electrical systems, which produces a lot of power spikes and power fluctuations. Travis offers a full range of power supplies from Lin in both isolated and non-isolated version. Anytime you're going to want to use this regenerative one with regenerative braking, you want to use an isolated power supply to make sure that that power is kept even and consistent at all times. We offer voltage ranges from 12 volts all the way up to 80 volts. Now let's head over to some Q&A.